Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2023, slot 3 DILR, says that in a coaching class, some students register online and some others register offline. No student registers both online and offline. So there is no overlap. Hence, the total registration number is the sum of online and offline registrations. So, total registration is sum of online and offline. The following facts and table pertain to these registration numbers for the five months January to May of 2023. The table shows the minimum, maximum, median registration numbers of these five months separately for online, offline and total number of registrations. The following additional facts are known to us. Okay, so based on these facts, we need to find out that what are the number of registrations in each of the months. Okay, so what we will do is we will make a table like January, February, March, April, May and fill in how many online, how many offline and how many total registrations are there. Okay, now one thing to notice minimum, maximum, median. So there are five values. So that means the median is the third value. This concept of median was tested across all slots that year. So when we talk about online, offline and total, we are given 40 as the minimum. So we will have one value in between. The third value is going to be the median value. Now, there is, there can be one more median, like it is not necessary that 80 is this, right? We can have 80 here also, we can have 80 here also, right? But the third value is necessarily 80. So, maximum is 100. And offline, the minimum is 30, median is 50, and maximum is 100. Sorry, maximum is 80. And these two values we need to find out. And in the total, we have minimum as total minimum is 110, maximum is 130, median is 120. So we cannot necessarily say that this is the value in between them. It can be equal to either of the two sides also. Okay, so that are the values given to us. It is given that in every month, both online and offline registration numbers were multiples of 10. Okay, so you could have saved your time by just writing the numbers 4, 8, 10, 3, 5, 8 and so but uh, that is not a big time saver because there are only some values to be filled. Suppose there were, these were multiples of 100, then it would have made more sense to fill it. Okay, all right. So next is in January, the number of offline registrations was twice that of online registrations. So it says offline is twice of online registrations. Now, there is a very interesting thing to note over here is, if we have twice of it, so total will be 3x, right? It's a multiple of 3 and these are multiples of 10 also. So basically, it should be a multiple of 30, right? Now, the total is 110, 120 or 130 max, right? It has to be between 110 and 130. So this value is going to be 120. So this was the key to filling these values that these are going to be multiples of 10 and if it is 1 ratio 2, it is going to be a multiple of 3. So this is 40 and this is 80, right? So 1 online 40 is done and this 80 is filled as of now. Now next statement says in April, the number of online registrations was twice that of offline registrations. So online is twice of offline. So again, we get the same case like this. So we will have the values as 80, 40 and 120. Okay. Now 80, 40, 120 means online we have put 80 number. So knock it off. Offline we have put 40 number. So that means 40 is a value over here, less than 50. So we will knock it off. Right. Next, it says the number of online registrations in March was same as number of offline registrations in February. Okay, so online in March, same as offline in Feb. Okay, so offline in Feb, let us say this is A. In March also, this value is going to be A. We'll figure it out later. Last point says the number of online registrations was the largest in May. 
ऑनलाइन रजिस्ट्रेशन द मैक्सिम वैल्यू इज गिवन एज हंड्रेड सो इन मे दैट विल बी हंड्रेड ओके ना इफ दैट इज हंड्रेड एंड वी नो द टोटल हैज टू बी मैक्सिम वन थर्टी सो वी कैन ओनली पुट थर्टी बिकॉज दिस इज द मिनिमम ओवर हेयर this is the maximum over here right so if it even if we put the minimum we will reach this limit so the only possible value that can fit here is 30 so this 30 is knocked off this 100 is knocked off right now comes this value a which is equal for offline in feb and uh, same for online in march so we need to find that what would be that value now we know these values are missing ones one of the values is 50 okay so we know that if we have to uh, have 50 somewhere right so probably let us say this is not 50 okay so let's say this value is not 50 okay it can be 50 or it may not be 50 so either a is 50 or 50 will come here so let us take a case that 50 comes here so one possibility is a is 50 another is a is not 50 now if a is not 50 then what can a be we have to make a number of 110 also right so one possibility is one value could be 50 or higher okay so we are saying that it is not 50 okay so it has to be higher than 50 so we can take 60 because if we take this as 50 so we would be taking a as 50 over here right now we are saying that it is not 50 so this could be 60 now this is 60 this turns out to be 110 okay and uh, then a is 60 and we need to have some online number online number we filled a value 60 over here right we filled the value as 60 in march now the other value has to be 80 or more greater than equal to 80 so if you make it 80 minimum even if you make it 80 it will go to 140 so our initial assumption that a is not 50 is wrong okay if you put a not equal to 50 a one of the possible values was 50 we decided not to take 50 okay and same thing if you take 50 over here again that is not possible because we have to make if you took a this value as uh, 60 so we should have a value greater than equal to 80 now we will do the other thing that is we will take a is equal to 50 if we take a is equal to 50 if we take a is equal to 50 that means one of the values has to be 60 right one of the values here has to be 60 so we will make 50 plus 60 as 110 so online will be 60 and this total turns out to be 110 right and now if you see the value over here sorry this this is 50 online this value is 50 over here so we will put 50 and we we cannot make it 60 because this has to be greater than equal to 80 so this value we will put 60 and make it 110 and this value over here can be minimum 80 so this is 80 and 50 will make it 130 okay now let us see the values 40 50 80 80 100 that we have filled and 30 40 50 1 of the values is 60 and 80 so median is fitting and 110 120 appearing two times and 130 appearing two times so all these minimum maximum median everything is fitting for all the months table now we will answer the questions what was the total number of registrations in april so in april we had 120 registrations what was the number of online registrations in january online registrations in january is 40 which of the following statements can be true the number of offline registrations was the smallest in may so that is true and the total number of registrations was the smallest in february that is false so only first is true then what best can be concluded about the number of offline registrations in february offline registrations in february is 50 which pair of months definitely had the same total number of registrations 
so same total happened in feb and may and april and jan so feb and may jan and april so both one and two are the correct ones